This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by Porkfest.com What do you think is the worst abuse that the Republicans have, are, are committing this session that's not making the news? Well, I'm hoping that everything is going to make the news, you know, that uh, that they're doing. Uh, the the thing is, is the meanness, uh, and, and it's it's reflected every day. Uh, what does it mean to take money from taxpayers? Yeah, well, no, the, the meanness uh, of them, you know, they're they're rude to constituents. Constituents come and they plead their stories. They either laugh at them or ignore them. Or I heard comments afterwards um, when they were talking about the, the health care bill. And uh, uh, after the session, it went on till 6 o'clock in the evening when it broke up. One, one of the uh, committee members said, well, all of that testimony is absolutely worthless. So they just don't care. They have their own agenda, and regardless of, of the testimony they hear, they are given instruction ahead of time on how they're going to vote. So it sounds like the Democrats used to be, uh, although maybe not so much They were anymore. never like that. Yeah. Never like mm -hmm. that, where the, uh, their minds are made up ahead of time and, uh, and where testimony didn't matter. And, and this is what's so egregious, that these poor people that have legitimate cause, and because these bills are going to affect them so deeply and so personally, and then to be totally ignored. They make the time, they take their uh, day off from their jobs, uh, they uh, get babysitters for their kids and they come in and they tell their stories and then uh, the committee votes the way they want to anyway. It, it, it's, it's shameful, it really is. Are you, you're with one of the town governments, is that correct? Uh, yeah, I've been a select minority for 13 years. Oh, okay, thanks. How much money do you guys spend to hurt victimless criminals, to lock people up that haven't hurt anybody? Um, if, if you talk about like the kids with a, with a few grains of uh, marijuana they get locked up, personally, I mean, I, the town doesn't, I don't know how much they, you know, the police get involved with things like that. We're a small town, uh, most of our criminal activities with the malls, you know, shoplifting, stuff like that. Um, I don't know how much you know. Others involved. I, I personally think that's over overdone. You know. Could you cut that from the budget instead of the 12% well, that you're we talking about? Well, we don't really budget specifically for that. But you look at it, the state. You spend 33 to 35 thousand dollars a year to house a criminal for something that minor, which should be maybe not a felony but a misdemeanor. You know, because on their record. That's just my own personal opinion. Not 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 for the town. Uh, Yet we only can give thirty-seven hundred dollars to educate a kid, you know, who maybe come out to be a, a good right. Society. Well, the jails are a little bit like school, or the schools look a little bit the like jails sometimes too. Sometimes. <laughs> That's right. I know. I, I have friends who volunteer up there in the jails. Yeah. But you know, I, I mean, this is my personal opinion. The town, I don't think, spends. You know, our police budget is reasonable. Um, very few arrests. You know, anything like that. Anyway. It's mostly getting shoplifting. And, Okay. Uh, things along that line. I'm glad to hear that. But uh, yeah, and you know, this. But I, I see a point, and I think there are some call it victimless crimes. Yeah. I mean, I have a good friend who's testified for medical marijuana when he had cancer. It was the only thing that could get him by. Right. And uh, he's admitted now in Congress. Hey, I used to take it to get through my my yeah. pain. Yeah. Does he break into any laws? Probably. That it was he hurting anybody? No. So I mean. No, yeah. And what was your name? Jack O'Reilly. You're with the elected government of the Yeah, elected Okay, uh, right. Selected no Thanks so much for your time. You're welcome. That's where most of the harm has been done, and we can talk about that in more detail if any of your questions. Thank you. Uh, this is a question for Representative Norelli. Norelli, Norelli I'm sorry. Um, you had spoken earlier against violence and in favor of safety, and I appreciate that, but what about the violence that your institution does, the state government does, against peaceful pot smokers every week? Um, I, I think that, as uh, Chris was mentioning before, there are a lot of people that have different opinions and different perspectives about what the role of government is. 
And I think that it's very healthy to have those discussions, um, to talk about how much government is the right level of government. Um, but I think that most people will agree that some level of government, whether you're here or here on that issue, is appropriate. Um, there are some, I don't know whether you subscribe to that view or not, as Chris said, that really do believe that no government is good government. I can live with that view from them, but they should be honest about it. They shouldn't stand up and say, we have to live within our means, and we're making these cuts because we don't have any other choices, when that's not the truth when the truth is that they are making those cuts because that's what they want to do. So, if I am running for office, I am going to tell you that I believe that there is a level of service, that public service that government should provide. I think that it includes education. I think that it includes public health and public safety. And then we can have a conversation about what level of those uh, you wish. And, and I'm happy to have that conversation with anyone. I do not serve on that corrections committee. I'm not um, an expert on the level of penalty. Um, however, if there was any legislation in the House that had to do with whether it's marijuana or alcohol or any other um, and any other activity that may currently be described as criminal, um, I'm happy to take a look at that and see what I think the right level of um, public safety, you know, where is the right level of public safety on those issues? Um, so if there's legislation and anybody wants to have a conversation with that, with me about that, I'd be happy to do that. Back in the room, please. Hi. Hi. Um, Terry, you said a few minutes ago that... Get ready. It's the biggest liberty-oriented event of 2011, and it's happening this June 20th through the 26th. Will you be there? The Free State Project's Porcupine Freedom Festival is a week-long camping event held at Rogers Campground in the beautiful White Mountains of New Hampshire. From live performers to family fun to agorism and action, Porkfest has something for everyone who loves freedom. What are you waiting for? Be a part of the premier freedom event of 2011. Visit porkfest.com today. That's P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. 